Hi, I welcome all of you in my channel and in this video in which I am going to discuss chapter number 6 2K factorial design from the book Design and Analysis of Experiments by Montgomery. So 2K factorial is a special case of general full factorial design that we have studied in chapter 5. This design has k number of factor, n number of factor 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and each factor has only 2 levels. These levels can be quantitative in case just like temperature 100 degree centigrade and 200 degree centigrade, pressure 10 psi, 20 psi or these levels can be qualitative like machine 1 and 2, operator 1 and 2. These levels can be high and low. Each replicate has 2k observation. So for example, if we have 3 factors, so 2 raised to power 3, 8 observation and if we repeat one more replication of example if we do two replications so there will be a total of 16 replication because 2 raised to power 3 8 this is the basic 2k factorial design and for each replication there will be an addition of 8 observation for a 2 raised to power 3 design so a full design will be added or in simple term you have to just multiply the design by 2 in order to get how many observation there will be if we perform the observation the assumption of 2k factorial designs are the factor are fixed because in, in this course we mostly focus on the fixed factor. Fixed factor are, are those fixed if, or fixed effects in which we, we select the factor and we keep their levels as fixed. The designs are completely randomized. Randomization is used to avoid any biasness in the experimentation. The usual normality assumption are satisfied. Normality assumption are satisfied using the normal probability plot for the residuals. And we check these normality assumption using the Anderson Darling test or KM test or Shapiro Wilkes test. These two K factorial designs are widely used in the factor screening experiment. So factor screening experiments are those which are performed before the major experimentation. These experiments only tell us that whether changing the level of a factor has a significant effect on the response variable or not. Those factors whose for which we do not get any significant effect by changing the level, we drop out those factors from our research work. So, so generally, these 2K factorial designs are used in the Taguchi design or response surface methodology or DST that are screening designs or any major experimentation for the selection of those parameter or factor which have a significant effect on the response variable. For example, for example, there are 12 parameters for a 3D printer process. Obviously, all of the 12 parameters are will not be significant on the response variable. So, we will perform a 2K factorial design in order to select which of the parameters are have a significant effect on the tensile strength of the specimen. So, we only select 4 or 5 those parameters that are found to be significant. So, this screening of the parameter is done by 2K factorial designs. So, this is the most basic 2 raised to power 2 factorial design. We have two factors A and B. Both of them are at high and low. The high is represented by minus whereas the low is represented by plus. So based upon this information how we will make a design. So we will write first of all we make a table with A and B. These are the main factors and we will multiply them to get A, B. This is the interaction term. So first of all we will write always we will write minus then plus in the first column then again minus and plus. If we have more replicate, if we have three factors A, B, and C, so we will have three experiment. In this case, we will always repeat this minus and plus for the first column. We will repeat for the B or the second column. We always do two minus in the start, then two plus. Again, if it is repeated, then again minus minus, then plus plus twice. So this is the way that how we can do a make our 2K factorial design. So how we'll get the for the, the how we'll get the term A, B. Just multiply these two signs minus minus plus plus minus 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 multiply plus minus and plus multiply plus it will become a plus. These sign that we have used there, these sign will be used in order to calculate different things just like contrast, effect of A, sum of square of A, B and AB. So these signs are quite important for you people.